Today we take a look at the book of Jude. Of course, it's just one chapter written by Jude who, well, he was also a half-brother of Jesus. He doesn't mention this in his letter. He doesn't talk about it. But just like James was a half-brother, so was Jude. And he writes a very interesting, short little letter. And it's all about end times. It's all about apostasy. It's all about deception. It's all about confusion. And he draws our attention to some of the things that we need to be aware of. Well, even in the times, which probably are the end times, that we're living in today. Listen to these verses. But you, beloved... Remember the words which were spoken by the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, how they told you that there would be mockers in the last time who would walk according to their own ungodly lusts. These are sensual persons who cause divisions and not having the spirit. He talks about those sensual, lustful people who in the end times, they'll claim that, you know, hey, I'm a Christian, I'm a believer. I love the Lord, but their lifestyle is one that's really driven by lust, sensuality, those things that are prohibited in Scripture. And we see this so rampant in our culture today. Oh, I can live this lifestyle that's prohibited by the Bible. I can do these sexual things that are said that no one will enter the kingdom of God if you do them. And yet they twist the Scripture in some way and try to convince you and I and themselves that this is okay. Jude said, this is part of the spirit, this is part of the climate of the end of time. Then he goes on to say something like this, but you, beloved, build yourself up in the holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit, keeping yourself in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. He says, keep yourself in the love of God. Keep yourself in a way that you can continue to know that, well, God loves you, that you love him. And the way that, the only way that really happens in a life is through an obedient life. You feel free to come to the Lord. There's nothing you're hiding. You've come out of the shadows, so to speak. Like when the father came looking for Adam, he was hiding because he was disobedient. Until he came and confessed, I've done this, he was able to come out of the shadows. So keep yourself in the love of God. Know that all these different kinds of things are happening in the end times, built around sensuality and disobedience. And then Jude closes out in this manner. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling, it's not just gonna be all by your own grit, but the Lord's gonna help. And he's gonna present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To God our Savior, who alone is wise, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen.